everyone, Genesis Rider here with a live gameplay for you on the new map in Team Slayer called Republic. Republic is forged on the Forge world of Ravine, and I was playing with Formal Hail, Gravity Ninja, and Hunter Guardian. Now I'd like to state that um, this game is a Team Slayer game, not an Infinity Team Slayer game. And you're seeing my first reaction to this map. I had never played on the map before, never even seen the map before. So I just started a game on this map, and it ended up doing extremely well against three very positive enemy players. I was dramatically ahead of the pack, and so throughout this film I'll be pausing it in various sections, and you'll hear my voice come in, and that's not my live voice, that's just me commentating over my thought process on various moments of the film. But moving on to the, the enemy players, KDs here, we have um, an enemy player, De Oliveira, who had a 1.99 KD, almost 2.0, positive 6,000. Moving even further, we have FS King Krista, who had a 1.73 KD, who was 46,000 kills positive. Then we moving on even further, we have probably the strongest member of the enemy team, O Champs back, who had a 2.11 KD and was positive 4,500 kills. The weakest link of the enemy team being a 1.05 play KD player. So he did just when it was barely positive, just barely had more kills and deaths. That's what positive means um, by 250. So guys, I hope you enjoy um, this film um, and it helps you understand this map as well as just understand how to play Team Slay a little bit better. Infinity. So right off the start here, I'm going to be loading out with my battle rifle and thruster pack, bolt shot, and frag grenades, but most importantly, my mobility so I can sprint infinitely to a power weapon and when I get to that power weapon I can pick it up and have extra ammo for it with the ammo perk. And I would like to also state that the announcer states Infinity Slayer before the game starts regardless of whether you're actually playing Infinity Slayer or not. We are not playing Infinity Slayer, we are playing Team Slayer. Team Slayer simply means that you can still load out with your own loadouts but you can't gain your own personal ordinance, like calling down an overshield or binary rifle for yourself. So it is a more fair game type than Infinity Slayer. Slayer. Alrighty. Someone needs to rush over. First overshield, like in the center right here. Yeah, I'm going for it. Actually, don't. What? Who drops? How, how am I going to get overshield? Like, see this? Oh, I got it. Overshield. Nice. How the heck? Come on. <laughs> Rush in. Man. Okay, who was shooting me in the back there? Notice this first sniper bullet whizzing across the bottom of the screen that hits my teammate. And also notice the second sniper bullet in the top right hand corner of my screen. They sniped. Their sniper's good. So we know the enemy team has a sniper, and unfortunately the sniper rifle does spawn on the side of the map that we initially spawned on at the beginning of the game. I'm not exactly sure how the enemy players got it, but let's move past that. My teammate says the sniper, enemy sniper is good, so what I'm going to do is immediately prove him wrong by running to the right and flanking the enemy sniper from a different angle. It turns out this guy had pushed way too far to top middle, and he was not able to come back and snipe me. I actually do this a second time later in the film a little less successfully, but when you're being pinned by a sniper like this, it's very important to move your location while keep making the sniper think you're still there, and then move to the side and start shooting him from a different angle. Um, I killed sniper. Got another guy. Hey, don't be alone, Hunter. I'm trying to come to you. Hi. Yeah, they're. They, I don't have a sightline though. So one guy turning you weak, Hunter. One guy turning you two and weak, one shot. Got another guy. I have rockets, I have rockets. How is that guy not dead? That guy should be dead, top center, you guys. Wow. We're above formal right now. Look above FOR. The guy should be way dead by now. Have any shot from across the map, man? Hunter, look to your right if you can. I'm dead, dude. I'm so dead. 
I, I was being shot from the right. I think you killed him. That's okay. Now, once again, I'm flanking off to the right on the enemy players, keeping them distracted with my teammates who are to the left on my radar, kind of huddled together. Unfortunately, I didn't notice that I was standing on a shotgun here, and this is where the shotgun spawns on the map. It's not an ordnance dropped shotgun, so it means you can't see it actually come up on your HUD. Now, right here, I'd also like to mention that the reason why I called out that guy so strongly top middle was because we had just killed two enemy players in about the same location, including the enemy sniper. So I thought that my teammates might be looking in the same general location, but unfortunately, the players who were looking there were one shot and weren't able to actually look at that and clean up that kill. There wasn't much need for me to be as forthright with that call out. It just didn't need the extra stuff I added on there at the end. It just needed to be strongly said, maybe once or twice, and then that's it and move on. Killed one. I'm rushing over shield. I'm rushing over shield. You're clear for over. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Forma. Go ahead and get that. Go to Alex. As soon as you get it, go to Alex. Now, I not only want you to notice how I instantly respond when the overshield responds on the map, but I am also telling my teammate who just grabbed the overshield to help Alex or Gravity Ninja top middle. This is because he is engaging enemy players and is the only one currently doing so, I believe. He's also more towards the center of the map. So my overshield teammate needs to sweep in, save him, take a bunch of shots so he can move up on the enemy team. Go to Alex. Or with me on the right. Or with me on the right. Three guys over here on me on the right. On the, on the, on, with me on the right. I'm turning to you, Alex and Hunter. You gotta be more aggressive with that guy, man. You have to kill people like that. There you go. Good job. Let's get on. Let's get on top again. I'm gonna try to get a sniper. I was out of ammo, dude. Sorry. One shot. One shot to the right of Alex. Alex, that guy near you is one shot. Alex. He has saw. He's, he's weak. Alex, he has saw. He's weak. There's a guy above us. I got one. Top middle is weak, one shot. Top middle is weak, one shot on green. I'm nading it. I got him. That's okay, I'm dropping, I'm dropping. Above me, above me right now. Three people above me. Two people on me right now. One of them is one shot. I, I got a melee up on one of them, bottom middle. Careful. Yeah, you, you and Hunter are guarding really close together. I'm going to peel off to the right a little bit. Normal. Uh. Keep, keep moving, keep moving. I'd like you guys to notice yet again this second flank on the enemy team's sniper as I peel off to the right and catch him completely off guard. Now this doesn't go exactly as planned. The rockets do spawn behind these green pillars off to my right and eventually one of my teammates pushes up with an assault rifle and helps me take those rockets and take out the enemy team's sniper. Now I would also like to state that I just came out of sprint but you're not seeing my center targeting aiming reticle in the center of this screen that I normally aim with. And why is that? Well, that's because when you're sprinting, it disappears so that you're not implied to via the game that, oh, you can shoot while sprinting because that's simply not the case. So the targeting reticle disappears and then reappears again once you come out of your sprint. However, it does take about half a second for your targeting reticle to reappear after you stop sprinting. So it is noteworthy that you can zoom to make your shots a little bit more accurate instead of just waiting for that reticle to reappear before firing. And that's what I'm going to do right here. So the targeting reticle doesn't come up any faster or reappear any faster on your screen, but you can zoom in. And especially at this distance, there's a lot of um, players that I've seen play in their games where they would come around the corner like this, and instead of zooming, they would try to normal fire on this enemy sniper. And that's really not what you want to be doing at this distance, especially when the guy doesn't see you at all. You really do want to be zooming at this distance. So just a tip for you guys to improve your gameplay there. One shot in front of me. The sniper's one shot in front of me on green. They're in green right now. One shot. Oh my gosh. He's right there. He's rocking the rockets. Other guard and the guy's weak. Nice. Good job. He has snipe. I know. I know. I know. They've overshield, they overshield. I'm peeling off to the right a little bit. Oh, this guy's Alex, chasing. back up, the guy has OS. This guy's chasing me so hard. Oh, son of a gun. Really?
Hunter, watch out. No long range rockets. You can't afford to have that, man. It was my last one. Oh, Look at that guy. Look at top green. I got the guy top green. One, okay, they're not top. They're not weak top green. They're not weak top green. Uh, top green, one shot right now. Top green, one shot. Nice. I'm gonna get a new sniper. I'm gonna get a new sniper. What? Just hold the side, guys. Hold the side. I need to, we need to get out of here. Our problem, okay? Yeah, I know, but we right now I'm sniping the heck out of him, man. Like, I, I'm literally winning us the game, at least for now. One shot over there on the right. One shot over there on the right. On their side right. One shot, bottom middle. One shot, bottom middle. Bottom green right now. One shot. In front of a four or somebody. Like, that guy's weak. Hey, he's charging me now, dude. Oh my gosh, man. You did. Alex, that guy's weak. I have, I have one guy on top of me. We got the spawn back. We got the spawn back. I have two people on top of me. I need help. Please look at Jen. I need help. I'm about to get charged by one guy. I need help, man. I still need help on top of me. Now, the falling death you're about to see is a great example of how this was my first game on this map. So I really didn't know what angles I could get away with in terms of an escape. Now, I would like to say that some of my call-outs, like top, middle, purple, green, you know, I'm just going by the colors on the map, as you can clearly see on the screen right here. Sniper spawn, overshield spawn. I'm just calling out um, via what I see on the map. I'm not trying to be super specific. A lot of call-outs are normally pretty general, and so don't be afraid to call out something general and then have someone correct you later. I just died. I sniper's right there on my body and formal died as well. Hunter, be careful. We need to... Nice. Right, so one shot formal. Uh, Hunter guarding. One shot. Alex, I need to. I, I have your help, man. Hold on. Oh my god. I'm uh, backing up, Alex. I can't do anything to help you, man. I'm sorry. I'm running. I, I need help, bottom center. Hunter, turn around, man. I, I was weak. I, I didn't want to get Okay. Guys, yeah, so, sniper's one shot on purple. Sniper's one shot purple right now. Oh, he sniped our teammate, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at it. I have shotgun, I have shotgun. Let's push on the left here, let's push on the left like we're doing. Good job. I got one, I got grenaded, I got grenaded. I'm hanging back, I'm hanging back. Now this is a great negative example of how pushes need to go about. As you can see right here, as soon as I saw some of those first grenades, get thrown, I move off to my right behind this rock, and you can see even more grenades coming in on my HUD and exploding. You can notice on my right are all three of my teammates have just died to grenades. I believe he got almost a triple kill there in the kill feed. What you have to understand is that when you're charging all at once on a side, you don't need to all be on the same level or the same location. You need to be spread out at least somewhat. If you're all in the same location, it's not only easy to get grenaded like this, but it's also for a sniper to get a two for one or them to rock at you. There's just too many variables in play. You have to spread out a little bit more and be a little bit more flanky on the sides than you might think. Recognize that your teammates are near you on your radar and then capitalize on that by moving off to the sides and providing alternate angles of fire. We all free died, man. I'm running. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. Wow, you guys, you all three died, man. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to be more long range with. Okay, the rockets just came up. They're gonna get rockets on the left. They're gonna get rockets on the left. It's on the left over there. He has sniper on the left here. He has sniper on the left. I'm gonna go get over shield. Hold on. All right, here it's a little bit of a risky maneuver. Me charging out in the open to run to this over shield, but I'm gonna gamble it and sprint for it because I'm assuming my teammates are distracting them in the center of the map and that the enemy players are more focused on the new sniper that just spawned. I want you guys to notice not only the flank from my teammate to take out the enemy sniper who gets me once in the body. But I want you to also notice how when I pick up this overshield, I go into super ultra protective mode of my teammates, honing in and firing at who they're firing at and trying to keep them alive as much as possible. And I want you to notice how we almost get four kills in a row without one of our teammates dying. Almost do this. So it's really good job on my part pushing up and being super aggressive and chasing with my overshield. 
Overseas. I'm in a charge sniper. Okay. Hey, you got the rocket here. Alex, you got rocket here. This guy bottom middle has it doesn't have this. Nice distraction, man. Nice distraction. Nice distraction. Alex, drop on the kid. Like, come on, there you go. Or formal back up. I'm coming. I'm coming formal. I have an overshield. Sniper. Hey, one shot. Hey, one shot. Drop out of mid. Guy who dropped out of mid. One shot. Green is one shot right now. Bottom mid. Nice. Good job. Good job. I got a sniper. I got a sniper. Hey, hold, hold on. Set her on. I killed her. Back red. Don't push up on OS. Four, side. careful. One shot, one shot, one shot. Four, one shot. They're both weak over here, both weak in here on the right. On the right, dude. I got one. Got him. I got another one. Uh, one shot over there, one shot over there. On, on the right here, on the right. Nice assist, dude. Got him. Here, on me, on me. I do not have enough backup here. I need someone. Yeah, I think you're alone. I think you're alone. Right Behind us. One shot, nice. Right there, on those rocks. Nice. We got OS. I am grabbing it in three, two, one. Okay. All right, we need to go back to snipe to spawn. That's probably where they are. Well, they're going to be hanging on to the next rockets, I believe. Yeah, they're on snipe They're spawn. on rockets right now. They're on rocket spawn as well. There's one guy just kind of hanging around over here. He has two shots on him, but he's not He's not going to go anywhere. Hunter Guardian, hold on. I'm, I'm with you. I have OS, by the way. He's weak, he's weak. Nice job, Hunter. Save my life. He's here on me, on me. I'm looking, I'm looking. Back up, back up, dude. Back up. So guys, I just wanted to briefly point out that all the AFK players or people who have been seemingly not their controller at whatever point in the game were only doing that for very brief portions of the game. I'd never upload or make you guys watch a film where there were a huge numbers of the enemy team, like in Team Slayer, one or two of them not even playing for large amounts of the game. Um, I would skip through those parts or at least warn you so that you'd know the enemy team is at a disadvantage. As it is, this player just gave up during the last uh, few seconds here, and I think we see him later on in the game playing, but um, it just goes to show that you really don't want to be giving up in the middle of a game. You always have the chance to bring it back. Don't just go away from your controller or whatever because you're losing. That's just a really bad way to end a game, and it really doesn't look good. Dead, Alex? Alright, take that guy out. I'm going to run shit. You got clear shot on both of them. You got clear shots. I'm engaging. Hold on, Hunter. You're alone, man. You're alone against two people. Now, I'd like to point out my teammate, Hunter. You can see his arrow at the very bottom of my screen. Pushing across the map, you can hear his call out saying, You got some clear shots on these guys. I'm going to engage. Well, remember what I said earlier in the film about pushing all at the same time? but pushing out and spreading out and flanking, there is a contrary side note to that. And that is, if you are pushing out or flanking the enemy team or engaging, but you are too far away from your teammates to receive direct support, what I mean by that is not just long-range support, but direct physical presence of shields beside you to take fire instead of your own shield and yourself dying then you have pushed too far and flanked too far out on the side. And this is actually what Hunter ends up doing. Now, I think I could have been a little bit more accurate with some of those sniper shots. But again, I don't know the map very well. I don't know the angles I can use. And I think some of my shots are actually blocked by the forge pieces uh, via the angle I was trying to shoot that one guy from. So as it is, I haven't taken out any of these enemy players. And that's why I say to Hunter, hey, you're pushing too far out. We can't see you. And he just ends up giving up a death. Um, for no reason here, but his intent was good, obviously. Just please realize that it's a learning experience. You can learn from this. Don't flank out unless you know you're going to have teammate support, absolutely. If your teammates are not responding to you, or if you're pushing out and you're like, okay, I'm going to be alone, go ahead and pull back. There's no harm in doing so. You're just going to not give up a death to the enemy team. You're going to be able to regroup and be more useful to your team overall. I'm looking. Yeah, I couldn't see that guy. Yeah, I know. I, I, I was telling you guys that. One shot, one shot red. Yeah, one shot on red. Yeah, I know, but 
Like, we just need to push as a unit if you can manage it. Uh, let's see here. I'm top green out now with Sniper. There's a shotgun there. Man, come on. Alex, Corvo, back up now. Back up now. Nice, there's another guy. Top middle, top middle on me right now. Top green on me right now. He's... Ah, son of a gun. He's one shot. One shot. Where on my ass? They're green right now. Gen, to your... Uh, I, yeah, I can't see him, man. He's one shot over there. No, it, it's fine. It's okay, it's okay. Overshield's up, overshield's up. One, one shot top, one shot top red, one shot top green right now. If, if you can see that guy, he's to your left. Hold on, Hunter, I'm looking. Nice job, nice job guys, good game. Nice first, first match on, first game on that map, that's good. As you can see right here, I did end the game with 19 kills, 8 assists, and 5 deaths, going leaps and bounds beyond um, everyone else in the game. However, I would like to also point out that the guy who only was 250 kills positive on the enemy team, their weak link as I put it, only got 4 kills and 17 deaths, so there was that. But overall, a good game, and I hope it helped you understand this map, Republic, a little bit better. I know it definitely helped me understand where things spawned and certain flanking strategies that you could use. But guys, let me know if you like Team Slayer. Um, some people have been asking me to upload that more recently. I do have some really good big team battle stuff that I do eventually want to upload. But um, let me know what you think of uh, this Team Slayer upload, and I'll see you in the next capture or whatever end up recording. Peace.